Hey everybody, welcome, Merry Christmas. It is Merry Christmas Eve. It is, well it's not Christmas Eve, it is the night of Christmas. What do you call that? It's still Christmas, right? So it's the evening of Christmas Day. <laughs> There's no word that I can think of that is right for that. But anyway, hello. I hope you had a really great day. And I thought I would come on this evening. I have been really working hard on getting things organized. Not that you could tell from my surroundings, but, um. I've really been working hard. We'll just put it that way. I feel like uh, if I can get my workroom in order, if I can get the schoolroom in order, we'll be way more productive once we get things rolling with everything in the new year. So I've really been crunching down on myself. I feel like I just can't get words out tonight, and I haven't been hitting the bottle yet. Um, that I'm, yeah, I just, I'm trying to get things sorted. So what I'm doing tonight is going through jewelry because I've done multiple jewelry jars and jewelry hauls and jewelry this and that and usually it ends up in a a tab like this unless there's like really spectacular pieces that I set aside but pretty much everything else just ends up in tabs like this that I just set aside and think I'll get to that later and then I just don't <laughs> and so it just piles up so I've been sorting it and basically what I've been doing is uh, I've started doing jewelry mystery boxes on Etsy. Um, I have the link below if you're if you're interested. And so I've got a basket that I've been putting things in for me to get, like pull from for the jewelry mystery box. Oh, that was my magnet. Um, and then I have a bat, you know, a tub for things that I'm going to sell myself. And then I've been making bags, bags for like craft lots and things that are broken that I'll sell as a craft lot. And the ones from last time actually sold, so that was awesome. And that's pretty much it. Hello everybody in the chat. I am live, so if you're watching this later, you know, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified when I go live. And then you can join in all the fun, yay. <laughs> so I have my friend Ginny and the Frugal Gals there. Hello Lydia Purple Lily, hello Julie. And hello, Clearance Ninja. Uh-oh. While you're fighting back, we're fighting for tickets to the movie theater. Not a good not a good idea tonight. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Joni. Hello. Hello, Donna from Snowy, New York. Yeah, we had... Oh, it's actually cold today, so... Yeah, we had some cold weather. Um, okay, real quick, though. If you're in jewelry lovers, let me share with you real quick, because we took a vote, because we had some members that wanted to do sales, right? Like, sell jewelry or sell like hauls and stuff like that, or like mini jewelry jars in the group. And we took a vote and almost everybody, I think there was one no and everybody else was a yes. So this is the thread if you're in jewelry lovers and sellers. Did I post that in there? Yeah, I did. Um, so there's that, so so we'll, we'll share it in the thread. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna reevaluate it in a, like a month's time and see how it was going. Oh, have fun! I Star Wars was super good. I, we watched it the other night, so have fun, yeah. So, yeah, if you're in jewelry lovers, that's going on take a look in the group and if you're interested in joining the link is somewhere down below and it is a paid group but it's worth it all right so let's do this I have got my loop and my magnet just in case and this is good too because then people because I think it was Jeff that was teasing me saying oh you've already sorted through all the jewelry and so you're not gonna put like good stuff in your jewelry mystery boxes like no I have so much I seriously just there's good stuff for all, right? Okay, so here, let's start. Let us start. Oh, let me close this out because now it's just going to keep be beeping at me. Hi, Lori. Hello, Donna. Hey, Margaret. I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Hey, Beth. How are you? Hello. Thank you, everybody, for coming. And Mary, I hope you guys had a really good Christmas. Did you get everything you wanted for Christmas? Did Santa bring you all your treasures? I didn't really. Well, I wanted the Instapot because I hear everything in the world about Instapot. And so I did get, my mom got me an Instapot. So he, that was cool. And my, got, my, my husband got me these earrings. Let me show you. I'll show you up close. They're James Avery. And look at them. They're little owls. Aren't they nice? And I know I talk about James Avery a lot, so I'll show you the mark so you'll know what to look for. Can you see it? It's like a little candelabra, like there, at the bottom. So I got the owl earrings from the husband. And then the kids got me... Ah, I think I posted a video of it. It's like a little... 
I love those little music boxes, little wind-up music boxes, and they got me the little wind-up music box with the Harry Potter theme. So that was cute. Aren't they cute? I and I I look at at um, James Avery stuff, and I hadn't seen those. Bill, this is at. She bought an Instapot for, for your Christmas. Oh, you're happy to get you a jewelry jar. Nice. Very cool. Oh, Donna's both kids. Well, her kids are home from school. That's the best gift. Totally. I can't, I can't imagine my kids going away. Oh, we're not there yet. They haven't hit puberty. Maybe then my mind, mind will change. Maybe. Okay. I keep saying we're going to start, so let's do this. So basically what I'm doing is I'll show pieces from the box and decide, is this something I want to sell myself? Is it something that I'm going to put in my basket for the jewelry lots or something I'm going to put in craft lot? Hi, hi. All right, so here's this. And, well, I think, I don't know that it's silver, silver. Nope, it's not because it's magnetic. But it's still cool, right? Hi. Hello, Carol. All right, so there's that. This is going to go in my my mystery lot box thing. Okay, here's this wooden bracelet. And here's the thing too, I try to, to ask myself, if I want a mystery box from somebody, a mystery box of jewelry, is this something I would wanna get? So if the answer is yes, then it goes in the basket. If the answer is no, do I wanna sell it myself or do I wanna put it in a lot? Like a craft lot, that's where it's going, <laughs> in a craft lot. So first item in the craft lot, da -da -da -da. awesome. Okay, moving on. Ooh, here we go. I've got some earrings in this ba bag. Let me just all of a sudden speak with a different accent. All right. We've got some earrings in this bag. And let's see. They are not attracted to the magnet. Let's see what the po if the post is in golden in color. And the post is golden in color as well. So this tells me I'm going to put this not. I'm going to put it in my to sell baskets because that tells me I need to test them. Maybe I should look at them with my loop while I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm telling you guys when I do these jewelry jars I don't always like sort I don't sort them right away I don't always I don't unless there's something that's just amazing that pop you know that just sticks out and I'll put it to the side but no I'm really bad about that. But yeah the posts on these are gold as well. Golden in color whether they are gold in for real I don't see any marks, but because they were not magnetic, and I don't know, so I'm going to hang on to them and test. They'll go in my, put them into cell lot, and then, and then I'll test them <laughs> when I get to sorting through that pile again. Okay, one thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. All right, next up. Oh, did you? Yay! Did your first mystery box? How was it? Was it good? Hopefully it was good. Did you buy it for me? Was it good? <laughs> All right, no pressure. This is kind of cool. I like, they kind of have that smoky topaz look, some of these. I'm feeling on them. They feel like they need a, a wipe down. Okay, so that's a, that's a question I'm asking myself. Now, if they were, if they felt clean, and I didn't feel like I needed to clean them, then I would put them in the, the lot, the jewelry lot. But because I know I'm not going to clean them, and I wouldn't want to receive this, it feels like it wants to have a hairspray on them, you know? But on the wrist, why would it have hairspray? My boxers are, oh, good, thanks, Margaret. <laughs> right? I'm hoping. Um, so this is going to, I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Even though it looks like a nice piece, I just know I'm never going to clean it. And I don't want to send it to somebody not clean. And then we've got this blingy, big, stretchy bracelet, which I like a lot. But it is, and it's not missing any stones. So I'm gonna put this in the mystery, mystery box basket over there. Okay, oh, tangles, no. All right, I'm gonna set some things to the side. I've got some tangles and something stabbed me. Not fun, okay, I'm putting, things that are tangled get to go in a separate box, how about that? Then we have this bracelet and it is sterling silver. So I am going to put it in my basket to sell. Let's go in my basket over there. And let's see, what have we got next? Ah. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know, I knew tonight might be, we probably wouldn't get a huge turnout because people are spending time with their families. But maybe not, need a little break. This one's really cute and I like these drawstring ones. 
but would I want to get it in a mystery box? How, how clean does it look? What do we think? It looks pretty clean. I'm going to go for it. That might be like a bonus piece. How about that? All right, next we have this bangle, which is pretty nice. Normally, because I, I like bangles a lot, I'm looking at quality. I'm looking at, is it missing any stones? No. Looks pretty good. And I know it'll sell, but I know it will take me forever to get to listing it. So it's going in the mystery box. So I'm trying to think what else I was going to ask you. I had, I had questions before I started, and then this is what happens. I start talking, and I just forget. Okay, so we've got this little enamel bracelet, and it is a J. Crew bracelet. But again, I know it's going to take me forever to get to list it, so it is going into the mystery lots. Mystery lots. Your boys gave you six Disney collectible coins. How nice. Do they have like different characters on them? How does that how does that work? Okay, and then these earrings, which are awesome. Are they pierced? Oh, they are pierced. And they are, I think they say Napier. Look at these. Are they amazing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no. They don't sound right for me though. And they don't sound horrible, but that would drive me bananas all day. <laughs> right? And they are Napier brand. So would I sell them? Or do I want to put them in the mystery lot? I want to put them in the mystery lot. Right? Let's do it. Mystery lot they go. And then this one, hmm, I'm torn. I really like this bracelet a lot. It's got this gold tone chain, and it's got this yellow leather. The only problem is there's a bit of, like, wear and dirt along this edge. And I don't think somebody would be happy about receiving that in a mystery box, personally, maybe. Maybe not. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in my box to sell because I think it's too cool. I'll, I'll take the hit on that one. <laughs> oh, it had Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, and Goofy. Cute, Pluto. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite Disney character since we're talking about Disney? Who's my favorite Disney character? Mm. What's my favorite Disney movie? Are we talking cartoons like the cartoon classics? Are we talking about new? Hmm. I'm thinking. Um, I, my mom is an Alice nut. I think most of you guys know that. Alice in Wonderland, everything. Mickey and Minnie are yours. Goodness, I don't know. Like classic Mickey, who would my favorite be? I don't know. I kind of I like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. You just said that too, Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> I think because he, he, he reforms, right? I mean, he sees the error of his way sometimes. Not always. Sometimes. <laughs> but I just I just want to dive into a, a thing of money and like spit coins out. You know how he does in that one? That, I just want that. That's it. <laughs> Not even, it doesn't have to be my money. <laughs> Polar Express. Oh, that's so good, right? We were just talking about that tonight. This one is really nice. It's not missing any stones. I'm going to put this in the mystery, in the mystery box one. See, there's a lot going in there. This is, oh, I'm going to have a hard time with this one. Okay, I'm going to sell this one. I love selling figural stuff. This one is a JJ, which is, uh, gosh, it stands for Charlinson. What? Y'all help me. JJ, um, I don't know if you can see that there. Is it Jay Johnson? Ooh, what is it? I don't think that's right. But it's a good um, custom jewelry maker. And this one's like a little pink strawberry which I'm going to sell. I like strawberries. Ah, me, uh, I'm just trying to think. Disney. I mean, now Harry Potter's. No, Harry Potter's not owned by Disney, are they? No, it's Star Wars is. Harry Potter. Johnette, right. Thank you. That's what it was. J. Johnette. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. <laughs> um, no, I can't think now. So this are some pearly pearls and again if you're in jewelry lovers and sellers that's our theme for next month is we're learning more about pearls and so I'm setting that to the side it's broken it's a mess but we're gonna stick them to the side because I'm gonna start I start gathering stuff like when we did amber and we did um, ivory and stuff I just started gathering everything that looked like it or that were imitations or whatever so we could have like 
yeah anyway and you too if you're a jewelry lover start gathering because we're gonna start sharing and, and guessing all right so this one okay it doesn't have any missing stones I need your opinion on this one guys it doesn't have any missing stones but if you were getting a mystery lot would you be disappointed to find this in there maybe if it was like a bonus piece right maybe if there was a bonus piece in there that was like this even broken pearls we keep them all Lydia Lydia says hey Vicki Merry Christmas yes Jonette the jo Jonette am I saying that wrong Jonette Jonette you can never find a jewelry jar oh Nora well see that's why we, I started doing the mystery boxes because then it's like getting a mini jewelry jar and then in jewelry lovers we're gonna be doing that so some of the other members are gonna be making stuff oh and the we did secret Santa and it, we only had one little hiccup but it went over so well I mean everybody got amazing jewelry from everybody else you like stretchy braces as long as they're clean yeah they're clean this one's clean okay it's going in thank you <coughs> You know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't I haven't sung I haven't sung Lydia in a while. <laughs> I see Lydia's name in there and somebody somebody mentioned it the other day. I like when you sing Lydia. You haven't sung Lydia. And it wasn't you, Lydia, it was somebody else. Bonus Pete's or if it matches something. Oh good, good, good idea. So there's another brooch and it does have a mark on it. What does it say? Hey Wendy. Maybe if I have another Another sip of my, let's see, oh, okay, this is Forstner, uh, 120th, 12 karat gold filled. So gold filled stuff doesn't mean it's going to be like fancy money, but I'm going to hang on to it because I need to look up that costume jewelry brand. <laughs> Lydia's like, that's my favorite. Okay, do we need to get Groucho down? I got Groucho up here. If we're going to sing Lydia, does Groucho need to come hang? <laughs> Why not? Here, Groucho. All right. We could use a good song. <laughs> I, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, and see, I've been out looking in a while for for jewelry jars. I have so much here, but I'm kind of like a hoarder. But I'm trying not to be. So I just splashed myself. Pardon. I've been really good. I haven't. I'm having a bit of wine tonight. I haven't been having anything in a while. So I haven't had anything in a while. So I thought, why not? I know I keep thinking I'm going to sing, but I'm just waiting. <laughs> now that I said it, I'm like, ah, I'll get there. Okay, so I've got, this is a keychain. What do you think? Would you find that, I, who was it? Somebody said start a keychain lot. All right, so maybe I'll do that. I'll start a separate bag for keychains. Because I do, I, I've been finding keychains. Keychains and bookmarks. <clears throat> do you guys know the Lydia song? You have five places for your hordes. No, it's not a fireball. It's just a uh, red wine. I might be knocked out if it was a fireball. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I can focus on jewelry and sing Lydia. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Lydia, oh Lydia, say have you met Lydia? Lydia the tattoo lady. She's got eyes that folks adore so, and a torso even more so. Lydia, oh Lydia, that encyclopedia. Oh Lydia, the queen of tattoo. On her back is the Battle of Waterloo. Behind it, the wreck of the Hesperus too. Beside it. And proudly above waves the red, white, and blue. You can learn a lot from Lydia. <laughs> and there. La la la. La la la. La la la. Groucho gets to go back. La la la. Come along and see Buffalo Bill with his lasso. His little classic from Mendel Picasso. Here's Captain Spaulding exploring the Amazon. Here's Godiva, but with her pajamas on. La la la, la la la, <laughs> la la la, la la. Oh, Lydia, oh Lydia. Say, have you met Lydia? <laughs> Lydia, the queen of tattoo. Oh, she once swept an admiral clear off his feet. The ships on her hips made his heart skip a beat. And now the old boy's in command of the fleet. Because he went and married Lydia. <laughs> I know I skipped some verses in there. <laughs> okay, so next up. I love that song. That always makes me laugh. <laughs> okay. Now I've had like two sips of wine. That's it. I'm, I'm running on pumpkin pie and fumes. All right, so this is a really pretty necklace with flowers. And I'm trying to decide, is this something I want to sell 
I think I want to sell this one. I like it a lot. So that's going to go in my, I'm going to sell the pile. <laughs> I'll have what she's having. <laughs> okay, now I've got this really pretty cross. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. Oh, backwards. I got it backwards. There we go. I haven't sung Lydia in a while. So there we've got this cross. I think this is going to go into the mystery lot because it's really pretty. I think somebody will like it a lot. Okay. <laughs> we haven't sung that one in a while. Okay. And how are you guys doing with the flu? This has been going around. Speaking of that, that we weren't really speaking of that. But in my brain, I went that way. Because I was thinking, last time I remember singing Lydia, I may have been with my sister. And then I remembered my sister had the flu. And then I thought, oh, gosh, lots of people have had the flu. This is where my brain is. It's fast, right? Hang on. Let me get my leg out. <clears throat> so have you guys had the flu at all? We haven't. We haven't here. But it's been going around really bad. Okay, there's this necklace. It's a long one. It's really pretty. And it's got these faceted pieces, like Sue. Oh, I gotta, gotta get my nails done. And this is going in the mystery box. In the mystery box box. And then, yeah, and so Elaine had the flu, Winter had the flu, that's her son. It's been going around bad. I think Jeff Davidson has the flu now. No flu there. Oh good, no flu but a bad cold. Oh, it just seems like every other person's been getting this here. Oh. Sick. Diana says sick here. Both hubby and I both. Oh darn. Margaret says it's gonna be nine degrees there. Oh gosh. It's been so bad this year. Okay, look at this one. I think this is gorgeous. So I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> this is one that I really think is pretty. So that's gonna go in for me. For me to sell. Then ooh. First sign of feeling ill. Oh, you take colloidal. If I could say it, colloidal. Colloidal. You've got to be careful how you say colloidal, because you get the wrong word out, and it means a whole different thing. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Feel better. Sixteen. Where are you guys? Where are you? That it's nine degrees, Margaret. I know you've probably told me before. I have a horrible memory with with stuff like that. So this piece. Oh gosh. I love it. Do I want to sell it? I feel bad because the last couple ones went in my, I'm going to keep to sell. Isn't it gorgeous? You know what? I'm going to put this in my mystery lot because it is really pretty. But here's my thinking. I'm so bad at taking pictures of long braided necklaces. <laughs> Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. So this is going in the mystery box. I'm doing it. Mystery box. <laughs> Okay, what's it? Oh, isn't it cute? Yeah. Okay, then this one too. Look how pretty. See, somebody will enjoy getting that. And it still has the original tag on it too. Isn't that pretty? Somebody's going to enjoy that. So this is going to go in the mystery box as well. So there's good stuff going in there. This, <laughs> this is from the cruise. One of the cruises give these out, which I learned. I didn't used to know that. It's supposed to be real cold all week. I think my sister said it's supposed to snow where she is in Texas in the middle of the week, maybe in a few days. So this is going in the craft lot. Now this one I'm going to keep, it's just a like a cord, fabric cord strap, because I frequently get pendants that could look good on something like this. You like it, but it's not your side. Yeah, oh, it does kind of match that red stretchy one. All right, Ooh. okay, cool. Let's poke those together. 11 days of below zero weather. Oh, gosh. No. What was it today? In the 40s? I think it was in the 40s here today. Okay, now I've got this piece, which I'll sell because it's rocks and mineral stuff, which I love. So this one will go in my pile. And I think this is another J. Crew. Nope, nope. Yeah. Okay, this one's kind of grimy. It's got some, it just needs to be cleaned up, but I'm going to put it in my craft lot because I know I'll never get there. I'll never get there to clean it. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, so this cuff bracelet I am going to put in for me to sell. Look how pretty that is. Okay, but, but yeah, my pile is still really small. <laughs>
my pile is still small. Okay, here we've got this necklace, which is really pretty. Yeah, this is from my stash, Wendy. I'm sorting things for me to sell, things for me to put in my mystery boxes, things for crafts. Oh, yeah, stay, definitely stay safe in that cold, frigid weather. This is really pretty, but I am going to put this in my mystery box. Mystery box lot. Okay, here's a question. This ring is really cool. The back is sort of worn off. Would you, do I have a sonic cleaning machine? I don't. And you know what? I saw one on our local garage sale site somebody was selling. But it didn't have, I looked it up, it didn't have amazing reviews. So, you think it's worth it? Maybe. Maybe. Merry Christmas, Gabby. So, I'm trying to decide this one. Do I put it in the mystery box? Would that worn off? Would that bother you? Anyone sourced off Alibaba? I have not sourced off Alibaba. Let's see, Neville. Okay, Mary. Oh, hey, okay. Yeah, okay. No, no comments yet. So I'll put this to the side. We'll see. You got a gold tester and tested my whole jar of gold yesterday. How did how did it go? How did it go? I love my gold testing kit. Oh my gosh. I love it. All right, so here we have got a nice bangle. This one is going in my mystery box slot. Oh, I'm going to sell this. <laughs> this is a Scorpio, Scorpion. Do I want to, or is it scratched up? No, I think that's just the way it is. Okay, yeah, I'm going to sell this one. Cool. Cool deal. How did your, yeah, how did the gold testing go? Here is another bracelet. No complaints, Lydia says. Oh, cool. Okay. I haven't checked into Alibaba. This is a really cool bracelet. I think I'm going to sell this one. I like the asymmetrical look of it. Let's see. I'm trying to grab without impunity. But that, does that make sense? I don't even know. Ash. Okay, Diana says, that I found the best way to clean silver is, that is tarnished ashes. Just rub them on and it will dry up. The item dry with a cloth. Huh. Oh, am I going to get some ashes? That means I have to burn stuff. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Here goes. No kidding. <laughs> Give me some matches. We'll find something to burn. Okay, this is a really cute bracelet. I it almost has like a bamboo kind of style look to it with this enamel. So I'm going to put this in the mystery box over here too. Hmm, I'm sure there's a better place to get to get ashes. Okay, this is a really cool bracelet. I'm trying to decide if I want to sell it. I'm going to put it in for me to sell. I kind of like that one. Oh, it went well. Prairie, Prairie Picking Girl says, one I like, treasured... Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Four baggies. 10K, 14K, 18K. Oh, nice. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. I, I enjoy using my gold testing kit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've done a couple videos. If you're watching, you're like, what are you talking about? Like to test gold and silver and stuff. This is a really nice necklace. I like it. I'm trying to turn it around, see if there's any pieces, any beads missing or stones. Let's see. So it's got all these stones spread out. I'm going to put this in the mystery box. And it's got a maker's mark. B-R. Fireplace ashes. <laughs> we have a gas fireplace that we never light, ever. It's never cold enough, really. B-R. What is that one? Hmm. That's not one that jumps right out at me with the burn metal kettle of leaf. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> my my neighbors might wonder though, because it's usually very very warm here. Yeah, any kind of grit is fine at one of the middle. Is that a belt? Hang on, my leg is cramping up. I'm sitting on the floor. So, Banana Republic. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, it probably is. You're probably right, Lydia. Thank you. Okay, then here's another one. This is another one that's really pretty. It's got all of these baubles hanging, little charms hanging off of it. They don't appear to be missing any. It doesn't, doesn't appear to be missing any. So this one will go into the mystery lot. The tester machine. Ooh, cool. Okay, then this, oh, that's an earring. I'm setting earrings to the side for now. This one is really pretty too, but it is long. And I'm really bad at 
taking pictures of long necklaces. But it's I like the medallions on it. They're really, really pretty. But this one is going into the mystery lot too. What's going into the mystery lot? This one I'm going to put in the craft lot because it's just kind of like, meh, meh. But then again, I'll, I'll say something is meh, and then it'll go and sell. This one I'm going to put in the mystery lot as well as this one, this black bangle. It kind of has like a serpentine look to it, almost like beetles, like, like beet the back of a beetle or something. If that's disgusting, sorry. Okay, I'm missing something. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look up. I'm gonna have to look into that, Wendy. I will. I don't have one of those. And then I was thinking about getting a gem tester, but I can't do that until I get my my workroom cleaned up. Hey, going on, Grumpy? How's it going? Hey, Patty. Hey, hey. The gang's all here. I am sorting jewelry. Okay, this one is tangled. It's going in the tangled pile until I can serpentine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, so here is another bracelet. If it is missing nothing, I'm going to put it in my lot to sell. Yep, yeah, that's going in the mystery lot. Then these are really cool earrings. They're missing. Oh, they do have some. Right, right. Okay. Look at these. Like filigree. Real oh, it was really expensive. Oh. There's that. Hmm. The two, I don't think that's for me. Let's see. Hang up a dark colored turtleneck and put a long necklace around a collar. Oh, thank you, Vicky. That's a really good idea because I've struggled with taking pictures of long necklaces. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. Okay, so this is going. I'm going to try to sell those. I like those a lot. That's an earring. Okay, what do you think about this shark's tooth necklace? My guys probably have three shark's tooth necklaces apiece because I find them all the time in jewelry jars. Would that be something you would be happy to find in a mystery box? Maybe not, right? Hmm. Maybe I'll hang on to it for my boys. <laughs> I'm going to put it over to the side. That'll go in. We have like a little treasure box, so maybe I'll throw it in the treasure box for the kids. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, next up is this bracelet. And my hesitation, like this part's really pretty, but my thinking on the the string part, the string looks kind of worn and kind of like, eh, kind of gray and tattered looking. So I wouldn't think somebody would be real happy about getting that in a mystery box. So I'm going to put this in my craft lot because I'm not going to sell it either. That's a miscellaneous. It can go with the it can go with the keychain. I've been photographing pewter pendants on chains that way and it works great. Oh, that's a good idea, Vicky. Craft lot, yep. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, oh those are cool. Okay. I'm trying to stick, like I say, I'm trying to stick the earrings all together till I find the mates. This is another piece I think I'm gonna sell because I really like this. Oh maybe not. Hang on. Is that gunk on it? Can I scrape it off? Or is it... Oh, it's coming off. Okay, I'll sell this. There was... There's like some white residue or something. So it's coming off. So I'm going to sell this. I think it's really a cool cuff bracelet. Hi! Thanks, Believe. Let's see. Sewing needles make great jewelry detangling. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Oh, thanks! Thanks, Gabby. <laughs> My, yeah, my husband got those for me. I was real happy with that. And I was surprised because I usually know what <laughs> James Avery has in their stores, and I didn't see these, so that was pretty cool. Pardon me. Okay, so here's a cool bracelet. It's got these little inset mirrors kind of pressed into stuff. You lost me. Oh, no. Hopefully the feed is okay. I'm going to put this in my mystery box lot. And, oh, that's an earring. Oh, that's a pretty earring. So these earrings are definitely vintage. They have these little cameos, and they're, they look almost like they're homemade. Let me show you the back. You can see the stitching 
on this little piece of what is that flannel or something yeah it's like you can yeah you can see the stitching on the flannel don't look at my nails I'm getting them I'm gonna get them done Wednesday <laughs> hmm but I think I'm gonna put these in the mystery box they're cool though huh how do you store the earrings I have I don't know if I can turn it for you to see. Let me see if you'll be able to see it. I have, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Over there, there's some black trays. There's a big light probably shining right in your face. Um, not trays, but there's little drawers like tools, like a tool you, you would put the little nails and stuff in. Um, so I store everything I list is in one of those little drawers like that. Like so. Sorry if I blinded you with that light. <laughs> it's too dark in here otherwise. Okay, so then there's this bracelet, which is also really pretty. Oh, I really like this. Do I want to sell it, or do I want to put it? Oh, what do you think? Nuts and bolts holder. There we go. Isn't that pretty? What do I want to do? Do I want to sell this one? It's a stretchy one. Okay. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Can't find many littles. I'm gonna put this. I'm. I'm thinking. Oh, I'm gonna put it in mine. There. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sell it. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in mine. Okay. Then I've got these earrings, which are really pretty. These enamel with inset little stones, and that will go in the mystery box. This I'm gonna sell. This mother of pearl little umbrella. I don't know if that's really mother of pearl or if it's faux. Eh, maybe it is. Okay, but I'm gonna sell that umbrella brooch. It's adorable. It is adorable. Okay, and then I will sell this as well. Little claw, bear claw. Yep. Let's see. Ah, thank you guys. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, I've got a belt. Okay, I think we talked about this on the last one. If you ordered a mystery jewelry lot, and you got a mystery jewelry belt, would you be upset by that? Or would you be like, okay, cool, it's a belt? Or would you be irritated and be like, ah, I sell jewelry, not belts. Why did this crazy woman send me a belt? Thoughts? I don't know. I'm going to set it to the side. I'll see what you say. <laughs> I want to put it in my mystery jewelry box. But somebody might not like it because it's technically not jewelry. And then we've got this really long necklace. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put that in the jewelry lot box. And oh, this is nice too. Put it in the craft lot. Going on, Grumpy says, belly dancing belt. You don't like belts, Patty says. Yeah, okay, I won't put it in there. This one, it looks kind of grungy. Like the part of the nose looks kind of like yucky. So, craft lot. Okay, off it goes. Craft lot. How much is a, is a mystery box? The one that I have in my, this is going in the mist, in the craft lot too. I have mine at 20 bucks. And I put between 20 and 30 pieces in there, so it averages out to be a dollar or less a piece. So, it's a pretty good deal, I think. I think. And I've got, I've got so much jewelry. So, <laughs> I'm like, it's cool. It's cool. We all win. You get good jewelry and I get... Less to jewelry than my house. So here's another one with lots of bright colors. This is going to go in the jewelry a lot. I'm making sure it looks good and clean and everything. Yeah, looks good. It looks good. This one too. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. But it's going in the lot. Hello, Susan. Oh, thanks, Lydia. And that, yeah, it's just like I, like I say, I bought so much. That I, oh yeah, I'll never, I'll never get to list it. Okay, so here's another one. I'm probably gonna put this in the craft lot because I'm not sure somebody would be super happy to get it. What do you think? Maybe they would. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in as a maybe. Maybe as an extra. Okay, this is going in the in the mystery lot. This little clown. Ta-da! Clowns. Clown sale. More earrings. Oh, I'm gonna sell this one. This is cute. Oh, it's oh no, it's not. Okay, 
this has got all these different coins on it. So that is going over here in my, I'm going to sell it. Me. And let's see, I come with, okay. The pink bracelet, you like it? Okay, cool, cool. See, somebody might like it. These ones I'm going to sell. I love the mother out of these. I almost want to keep them. Look at them. They're so blingy and colorful. Look at that. They're really not me, but I really like them. They're so fun. So I'm going to sell these if I can bring myself to. Do you have jewelry that you're just like, I don't really want to wear this. I just want to look at it. <laughs> I just want it so I can look at it. It drove everybody crazy, <laughs> Susan said. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. Okay. Next is another little bracelet like this, which I, I've thrown a few of them in there like this, so I might put them all in the same bag in case somebody wants to lock them up. <clears throat> Margaret, your name on eBay or Etsy. Um, I'm doing the mystery. Are you talking to me, Margaret, or the other Margaret in the chat? <laughs> I'll assume it's me for now. Um, I'm selling the mystery boxes on Etsy, and my, it's Texas Gal Treasures. And I have the mystery boxes, one of my top, because you can do like your favorite or your featured items or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> Lydia's, yeah. You don't wear much, but you love keeping it. Yeah, see, I always wear the same pieces over and over, but I have a ton of jewelry. I do. I do. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, thanks, Gabby. <coughs> hey, Merry Christmas, Darrell. Nice to see ya. Or see your name in there. All right, so this is a black bracelet. That's like a faux reptile. It's not really a reptile. So or I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Hmm. <coughs> Hang on. What get, what makes me wonder is this piece here that's sealing it off. Oh no, this is leather. Look at that. The inside piece is like finished with this leather strap. I'm smelling it. Hey Kelly. It'll be a bundle of bangles. <laughs> and I try to start, I try to mix it up so it's not all just bracelets. So it's like a little bit of everything. Yeah, this is gonna go in the Mystery box lot. I hope a vegan doesn't get it. They might be upset. But you never know. You never know. All right, then this necklace was actually one that a friend of mine made me that I just never wear anymore. You know why? These bicone beads, they cut into my skin and they would just itch me. So I quit wearing it. But it's super pretty with this really pretty glass. Maybe I'll sell it. Oh, now I'm going to put this in the mystery box lot. Even though it's, yeah. It's going in. I have to be very selective now. I'm trying to really pare back on what I'm selling. Okay, rosary. Rosary's going in mine because I have a bunch of rosaries that apparently I hoard and never sell. Maybe someday. <clears throat> and then this bracelet. Oh, it's so pretty. That's another one. It's got these like pretty little Aurora Borealis type beads. Oh, it's so dainty and feminine and pretty. I love it. Isn't it? Okay, I'm going to hang on to that. I might have to keep it. I might have to keep it for me. Let's see. All right, then we've got this necklace with this pendant, which is super pretty as well. Let's see? It almost looks like a little sapphire, and there is a mark there. Let me see what it says. Watch it be like Avon or something. We'll find out. Okay, it says Roman. So that's another costume jewelry maker, Roman. What do I think? Do I want to keep it and sell it? Or put it in the mystery? I'm going to put this in the mystery box lot, I think. It's really pretty. I think it'll sell. It's very elegant looking. I'm checking it with my magnet. Yeah, it's a teeny bit magnetic. So there's that going in the mystery box lot. This is going in the craft lot because it's an ornament, I think. Like an ornament, yeah. Let's see, Italian. Hey. Oh, they're all saying hey in the chat. They're saying hey to each other. Cool. How long have we been at it? Oh, dear. I start getting away with myself. The next thing I know, it's an hour and a half or something going on. Oh, 44 minutes already. We've barely scratched the surface. I'll be back. That's a good brand to sell, Roman. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Somebody will be happy to get it then. Okay, here's another bangle, which I think is super pretty, but it's going in the 
lots of sell. This is going to go in my craft block. Some of that blue looks kind of gross. Grody in there. The wooden beads I'm going to put in my craft lot, even though I know they could sell. And this is a chain on a bangle. And I'm feeling it because I've had one of these before where the chain was loose and it kind of popped off. This one feels good. Done moving. Oh boy. You can stay here all night. Good. Okay. I, I'm going to try to get my Christmas decorations down tonight. Maybe I'm being a little over enthusiastic. But I feel like I've been like in this state of suspension, suspended animation. I don't know. Where it's like I can't get anything finished. Like I'll come scratch the surface over here. And then I go scratch the surface over there. And I, you know, get a little bit done here, a little bit done there, a little bit done there. And nothing is getting done completely anywhere. So I've really been trying to, like, work hard in this room, work hard in the... No, I'm still doing the same thing. Um, does Etsy allow mystery boxes? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've bought them and I've had... I've sold them. And I see lots of them up there. eBay, however, I don't know. I, I don't know what the rule... Last I heard, the rules were you're not supposed to sell mystery boxes on eBay per their rules, but people do it anyway, so. Right, yeah. Okay, so then this one, it's like this faux leather, I think, probably faux, faux leather, yeah. Woven into this gold chain, which I think will sell. I think it's really cool and I think it won't have any problem selling, but I don't think I'm gonna sell it. So, I'm gonna put this in the mystery box lot. Same thing happens to me when I'm packing, going from room to room. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, oh, eBay changed the rules and they do allow them now. Oh, well then, I'm going to go double check on that and get my mystery boxes over there too. Because I have got a lot to sell. Okay, but I like Etsy better because their fees are better. So this one is pretty cool. I like the pendant and I like the chain how it's got these little baubles in there little beads on there it's a mystery box you find yeah okay so this one is going was oh, that a Tony Birch hang on a Tory Birch isn't that Tory Birch's logo let me double check that necklace again slow your roll Margaret because that's a good brand I'm looking to see if I see any marks on this don't see any marks on the on the piece. All right, so this is going in the mystery box. Maybe just the bag is Tory Birch. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. You can sell mystery boxes as long as you tell what you have, such as so and so many advertising pieces, so and so many joy. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay, cool. So I could say, like, five bracelets and two necklaces and or whatever it is so this one is not missing any stones it's nice and clean I'm gonna put it in the mystery box lot box this one looks like a chain like a chain for a bicycle it's inside out so oh gosh, let me flip it around I could see somebody really enjoying this one too like if they're doing triathlons or something and I don't know maybe it's some of the metal. Well, maybe it's okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the mystery box lot. Boy, there's a lot going in there tonight. The angels. What do you think? Would you be happy to get angels in a mystery box? Maybe it'll be an extra piece. If it was a fancier brooch, then maybe it wouldn't be so like eh, maybe. But it'll be an extra piece. How about that? Then what do we have next? Butter okay, this butterfly is missing one antenna. So it is going in the craft lot. Yes. Oh cool, cool, cool. Okay. Then we've got one with little beads. Is it missing any? I don't see any missing ones. So I'll put it in with the mystery lot. This I'll sell. Because I love these. With the mixed metal, the copper, brass, silver. This one actually has the magnets in it too. So I'll sell that. That's awesome. And then this, what is that, a gazelle? Me, uh, I love selling figural stuff. I love selling animals and fruits. And and this one looks like it might be pewter. I don't see any marks on it, but it looks like it's probably pewter. 
Mm. I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> I found a lighter. No, is this a lighter? Maybe it is. No, it's a um yeah, it's a lighter. It's this kind though, where you like take the thing and then you strike it down the thing like that, right? Isn't that a lighter? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Huh. I'm gonna hang on to that because I need to mess with it. Ooh, it says something on the bottom. The match king. It says the match king on the bottom. So I need to look that up. Hello. Dave Ramsey. Hello, hello. Hey Fraps. Linda. And then we've got this one that's got dolphins and bits of like abalone shell. So that is going, what do I want to do with that? I'm going to put this in the mystery box. Mystery box. Okay. Not jewelry. It's a Neiman Marcus mirror. But it's got some something on the bottom of it down there. So I'm going to put this in the craft, craft lot. Handicap butterfly. Well, permanent match. That's cool, Vicky. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mess with it. Because if it's something that we could throw in our you know, our camping stuff, that would be cool. Here's an old lock. I'm gonna put that in the craft lock. So I just, I have a couple I've never gotten around to selling. Here is a butterfly. This is pretty cool. Look at it. Ta da! So this is going to go in a mystery box. Mystery box. Okay, we're making a little headway here. We're getting there. We've got some yellow clip-on earrings, but it's kind of scraping off the paint along the edge there, so I'm going to put this in the craft lot. What's the range you get? Oh, wait, are you asking me? Are they talking about the weather? Merry Christmas, Miss, T <laughs> Miss Ollie. Craft lots. Oh, wait. You need for this? This is the craft the last craft lot bag that I sold was from one of the viewers messaged me and was like, hey, I'll buy it. And I said, okay. And I think, I don't know, I filled up, I filled up a medium flat rate because I have like three of these full. What did I sell it for? I can't remember. 25? 30? Because it was like 12 bucks to ship, so that was included. I can't remember. <laughs> How am I a business person? I don't know. I can't ever remember. Okay, this I will sell because I love scarabs. Do, do, do. Like that. I'm going to sell that one. These ones I will also sell because they are rocks. And I think they will sell. They're awesome. So I will sell those. What's this? What's this? That's an earring. And we've got a little, another little butterfly pin. It's, it's okay, I guess. It's okay. The wings move. That's cool. You guys are talking. When y'all talk amongst each yourselves, I'm like, what? What? Oh, oh, not me. <laughs> okay, so that's going in the mystery box. Mystery box lot. We'll do a few more, and then I'll call it, because I really want to try to go take the Christmas decorations down. Yes. Get things back in order. This is really pretty. Okay, this is a Noah's Ark bracelet, and I think this one... Is this the one that was marked? Because I had it, maybe it was a charm bracelet that I had that was marked. This is really cute. I may have to sell this one. I may have to. Because look how cute it is. Oh, I see a mark. Hang on. It's adorable. Okay, where are you, Mark? Oh, this is a um, premier jewelry brand. You can barely kind of see the, it's got, they have like this crown sort of thing. But I'm going to sell it. Premier jewelry. And then we've got these earrings, which I'll put in the mystery box. Like so. No, right? Vicky, isn't it cute? The Noah's Ark bracelet. So that's going in the mystery box. This one I'm going to... Maybe I'll put this in the mystery box. These are like shell. Bits of shell. They look like they've probably been dyed. I don't think they're naturally this color. And then it's got this peace charm on it. Like so. That'll be in the mystery lot. Oh, this one's pretty. Hopefully your mate is here. Because you're awesome. Okay, put that down there. Uh, I think this is broken. Yeah, this is broken. 
but they're pearly, so they're going over with my pearls. Putting my pearls over there for next next month. That's next week, isn't it? We start next week. Oh my gosh, I need to get prepared. Then what is this? Okay, did we? I think I remember just talking about this, but I have no, I can't remember what this is. Is this shoe jewelry? Is this boot jewelry? Like this part goes underneath the boot. And then this part comes around the front of the boot, and then that's like a charm for the boot. Is that what this is? I don't even know. Are you bagging your jewelry separately so it doesn't tangle within the mystery? I'm not. You think I should? Maybe I should. I'm just getting like a bag and putting it in. Maybe I should, but I have to go. I have to order some little some little baggies. I haven't had any. Um, feedback yet so I don't know oh Carol that's a good idea <laughs> okay so you have a JJ Noah's Ark pin that would match that bracelet cool all right so I'm gonna put this in the mystery jewelry box because it's a mystery maybe I'll do that maybe I'll look into getting some of those little baggies because I don't have any I'm gonna sell this belt this is a really cool Lion belt. Oh my gosh, I this belt. <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. That's how. Okay. It's really heavy. It's very heavy. Okay. Then I have these wooden earrings. Uh, this is like one of those that I'm like, I'm going to challenge myself to sell these. Somebody's going to love them. They're hideous. They're ugly. They're gorgeous. <laughs> Somebody's going to love them. Okay. I'm challenging myself to sell those. Then, oh, this is so cute. Okay, hang on. Erin, get off there. So this has got a little teensy little book charm locket. Look at, isn't it cute? Little locket. And it's got a maker's mark of Sarah Coventry. So that's a Sarah Coventry one. I'm going to put that in the mystery box. Mystery box, lots, box. Oh, gosh, okay. I'm going to, look, look, look. I'm going to sell this one. Watch, watch, watch. Ready? So it's a kangaroo and a joey. Ready? If you move the tail, the little joey moves. Isn't that adorable? Eee! Okay, I'm going to sell that. <laughs> the belt looks like Versace. Ooh. I don't see a mark on it. Let's see. You know who would know? I bet Thelma would know. She knows her designer brands. But that's a lion, right? Versace has that lion. I'm going to look at it. I'll look it up. Thank you. So I will know. For sure. Okay, then I've got this brooch, which is kind of cool. I think I'm going to try to sell that. It's different. It's different. Have we been on an hour? I could keep going, too, but I have so much. We'll never get to the, the bottom of this one right now. Look. We've gotten about halfway. We've gotten about halfway. So I think I'll probably call it there. I'll, I'll do one more piece. How about that? Pulling, pulling, pulling this one piece out like so. And this is one of those like cuff necklaces. Do I want to sell that or do I want to? It's awfully small. Oh, we talked about this, didn't we? We did. When we were measuring next that time, remember? And I was like, how, what, how? And then we decided maybe it's not. Maybe it goes on my head. Wasn't that the way it went? Because <laughs> we couldn't get, I couldn't. My neck's not that big. Okay, don't, don't, don't. Don't start that again. So we'll put this in the mystery. It's going in the mystery box lot. Then I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> okay. So sort for today let me know if you enjoy watching these and watching me sort it out because I can do it I can keep going maybe for a tween right maybe for a younger person and vintage stuff they had smaller everything apparently everything my grandmother was t9 C she was a tiny lady so that would have gone whoop, on her neck no problem um yeah so let me know later if you're watching this later too if you're enjoying this you know give it a thumbs up Leave me a comment down below and let me know that you're enjoying watching me sort the jewelry and see my thought presses.
put in the, the different lots and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys all have a really good rest of your Christmas and have a great week if you're off. Keep going. I would love to, but I really have to go try to put Christmas decorations away. Or it will just never happen because then the kids will be awake. And forget it. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Susan. Okay, thanks a lot, you guys, and I will see you probably tomorrow. I'll do. I'll try to get my week in review. I try to get that back going on Sundays. So I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming.